Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple one page style guide. We are going to use my new brand guidelines template, which is just a one pager. Basically, it's like a poster that comes in two color versions, but it's designed in such a way so you can quickly develop your brand guidelines in just minutes. So let's jump right into InDesign. As you can see, I have two pages, white and black, and I used object styles, paragraph styles, and character styles for that. So if you make any changes, it's gonna automatically change typography, for example, right? I also have it linked to my Illustrator file, which looks just like this. I have a few artboards, so you will just use my template and you can just paste your logo right here and it will update the whole style guide for you, which saves you a lot of work actually. And I also have Photoshop mockups embedded right here, as you can see right there. Again, you can just edit this by going to edit original, or you can just use your own mockups, just drop them right here. But let's start actually with the Illustrator file. So here I have another logo. All you have to do is just copy this logo, go to my template, and start replacing this so for example so I'm just gonna select the artboard I'm gonna hit command zero I'm gonna control V I'm gonna paste it and I'm gonna resize it with command and shift until I find the right proportions I think this is okay so I can save that so this is the logo on white and now I can just take this and again select the artboard control zero paste that logo but this time let's say i want to do something like that and then i want to select the text and I, i'm going to change the color to white so in this case obviously my logo is not just black and white but it uses color so that's why i made it this way now if i save this illustrator file ctrl s and i switch over to indesign all i have to do is just select the object and you see this icon right here i just double click and my logo is automatically replaced with the new logo right so i can do the same with the brand mark right and i can do the same with the colors then i will just sample the colors from here and then i will sample another color from there and so on now i'm gonna show you how to change the fonts globally so for example this identity uses a different font than butler right so you see this aa primary and aa secondary so if you just go here right click edit primary and you go to basic character formats all you have to do is just change this to another font. I'm just gonna start typing Helvetica. I'm gonna make sure that the preview is selected and I'm gonna hit OK. Now, sometimes the font is gonna be bigger, but as you can see, it replaces the here, it replaces the font there. All I need to do is just double click here so it fits within, within this frame, right? And I can do the same with the secondary font. As, as you can see, if I switch, it's gonna switch. So all you need to do is just change those two and the headline, the name is based on on the primary font and everything else is based on the secondary font but you can just adjust these right and what's nice about that this is going to automatically change things on the black version right and then you can do the same with the icons you can start designing icons i just wanted to make it quick so let's say just to prove you that it actually works i'm gonna select all icons and i'm just gonna make them dark green right and i if i save this and if i go back here and i select this one you can just go to the whole group double click this warning and that's it and now it's dark green so obviously you would like to replace this replace the things like a pattern inside the illustrator you have few artboards but all you have to do is just replace them save that refresh here and you basically build your style guide in minutes and you do the same with the mockups right so for example let's change this mockup of a website right so obviously you will have to download some free mockup of a macbook then design it but once you have it like for example i have one here all i have to do is just select this drag and drop and then it will quickly change it for you and then you can just use a shortcut shift alt command and e to position this nicely now obviously sometimes 
your mockups are going to be in different ratio so you can just change the size of, of, of these elements or what you can do is you change you change the background color and now it looks much better so you do this with all the mockups you send it to the client and then you have an editable version so if you make any changes you don't have to make the, these changes here and or in illustrator and then copy them over all you have to do is either you make changes right here right so let's change this again to something like that let's say the whole thing is white and i save it and then i go back to indesign and all i have to do is just double click here and it's gonna update my style guide template and then what i usually do is just go and publish this online actually indesign allows you to publish documents online which a lot of people don't know about so you're just gonna go here you're gonna set the title for example medi Juana brand guidelines of course I, I forgot to change the title there but once you publish you're gonna get the link you send it to the client and that way you can always make the updates and then republish that to the cloud and your clients can see the new version so you don't have to send pdfs uh, in the email so this is the fastest way to build one page quick style guides for your smaller logo design projects that don't require building a comprehensive style guide which i actually have another template right here which is my comprehensive brand guidelines template that is like 70 pages long but you will definitely not be able to do it in a few minutes it will take you a few days probably but anyways i hope it's useful you can download my template on my website or check out my other video where i walk you step by step on how to build a comprehensive 70 plus page style guide and follow for more tips on branding and graphic design and I will see you in the next video.